There is a buzz brewing in Blacksburg like we haven't seen in quite some time. The Virginia Tech Hokies are flying high after a 34-3 win over UNC on the road in Chapel Hill. What a fantastic win that was. The Hokies are now ranked 17th in the country. And, you know, there's just so much to be excited about this football team. They are heading into what could be uh, a challenging matchup, at least a deceptively tough matchup against the Syracuse Orange in the Carrier Dome. Uh, Really, the only thing it seems that could be stopping the Hokies in this one is if they are looking ahead to the big showdown against Miami on Thursday night. They cannot afford to do that. You would like to think that Justin Fuente, the new head coach, and Bud Foster, longtime defensive coordinator, have no intention of allowing that to happen. However, time will tell on Saturday afternoon. So heading into this game, Gerard Evans has gone 76 of 120 with his passing attempts uh, with a 63.3 completion percentage. Just over a thousand yards passing. The really impressive stat with him, though, is 15 touchdown passes and only one pick, which wasn't even his fault. So, really, just a remarkably efficient uh, first season at the helm of the starting quarterback role for Gerard Evans. Trayvon McMillan has been the leading rusher so far. He has 288 yards rushing, a 4.4 yards per carry average, and three touchdown runs. It might surprise some Hokie fans to learn that Gerard Evans has uh, only been 30 yards behind McMillan's leading pace, 258 yards rushing, averaging 4.2 yards a carry, and two touchdown runs. So, you know, in third and short, Evans and his big frame can get things done uh, on his own oftentimes. But when it comes to how the Hokies are going to do their damage on Saturday against the Orange, I think it's particularly going to happen through the air. Syracuse's secondary lacks continuity. Their own head coach has admitted its vulnerability. And the defense as a whole uh, gives up 475 yards a game. That is certainly uh, not a good statistic for them. However, Syracuse does present challenges for Virginia Tech when it comes to their offensive passing game. Eric Dungy has thrown for a lot of yards this season over 1,800, and 11 touchdown passes to go along with four interceptions. Their top receiver is one of the best in college football, Amba Eta Tawo. He has 876 receiving yards, averaging over 17 yards a catch, and six touchdown grabs. That will present challenges for DBU. That being said, uh, really, the defense lunch pail time they're gonna feast they're gonna eat big Syracuse has given up 16 sacks this season most recently in their game against Wake Forest five sacks given up if they're gonna give up five sacks against Wake Forest the floodgates are going to open in the carrier dome there could be sack city on Syracuse Very, very fortunately for the Hokies, Tim Settle is healthy. He suffered a non-contact injury against UNC, and those injuries always tend to be terrifying. However, he is ready and set, healthy to play, as is Isaiah Ford on the opposite side of the ball. But going back to Tim Settle here, he could wreak havoc on a very young interior offensive line. So I look for the redshirt freshman in particular to have a huge day on Saturday. Now, Isaiah Ford, talking about injuries, twisted his ankle a little bit uh, against UNC. Fuente claimed that uh, after the game they could have put him back in if they wanted to. He was just held out as a precaution, which makes sense considering it was a blowout win. To date, Isaiah Ford has 376 receiving yards, averaging over 15 yards a catch with four touchdown grabs. Cam Phillips, so far, has had a better season than I anticipated. He has... 258 yards receiving, also uh, averaging, um, on his case, not almost as much. 15.2 yards a grab. Very impressive for him. And two touchdown hauls to his name. Bucky Hodges had a phenomenal catch last week. Hasn't really had the statistically wowing that we would like to see from him so far. But 
he is still going to remain a major, major cog in this offense and really look forward to seeing what he can do. Really, uh, like I've said, the only thing that can really hold back Virginia Tech in this game is if they get caught looking ahead to the big showdown for the game that's going to be uh, against Miami. However, this is an experienced coaching staff. Seems like a very mature team that's starting to get their act together more and more so week by week. So, you know, I am a little bit surprised to see the spread on this game. Virginia Tech are at 19 and a half point favorites, which is pretty gaudy for a road team. Yes, they're ranked. Yes, Syracuse has struggled so far, but I'm not so sure if uh, they're necessarily going to cover that spread. However, my gut tells me they will. This is a team that's not going to let up. They're, they've hit their stride. They're confident on both sides of the ball. And so in this game, I'm going to pick Virginia Tech to win 50 to 23. So with that, I leave you with this. For those who have passed and for those to come, reach for excellence. <laughs>